Hello and welcome. I'm so happy to have you join me today. If you can hear some crunching down below me is that Sophie is snacking and enjoying her breakfast today. This video is going to be how I stay fit and trim in my ninth decade. Isn't it true that a healthy outside starts from the inside? Food is our common ground. It's our universal experience, isn't it? Welcome back. It's so great to see all of you again in 2022. I've had been asked, as I said before, to talk about how I stay trim and fit at my age. Well, I don't know whether there's a real secret to it, but I'll just share with you what I do. Um, I maybe have a lot of good genetics from my mother who was trim even into her 90s. But even if you have good genetics, you can really mess them up by not eating right or exercising and doing things like that. I am a pescatarian, which means that I eat, uh, I don't eat meat. I, the only meat that I eat would be fish. And my uh, choice is fish is salmon. But I don't eat meat and I don't eat dairy. I eat lots of fresh fruits and vegetables, uh, grains and fish. So that is what I do. But you can still not be a vegetarian, pescatarian and still eat healthy. What I do, I think I do three different things to try to stay fit and healthy. And all of them are kind of tied in together. The first thing, of course, is diet. What you put in your body is really, really important. The second thing is exercise. How you treat your body and how you move it and keep moving and exercising is really important. And the third thing is how your mindset is. How you think, are you the person who sees a glass half full? Are you someone who sees it half empty? All of these things really tie in together. You just can't have one thing that keeps you fit and healthy. Because everything, your mind and your body are a team and they all work together. I'm just going to give you some simple tools. I'm not going to really make it complicated. First thing I do is that I try to eat as many fresh fruits and vegetables and things. I try to avoid also as many processed foods as I can. They're full of sodium and if you eat too many of them, uh, it really is not good for you and it will help you gain weight and do a lot of other stuff to your body that you don't want to have done. So try to make most of your diet, a big percentage of your diet, fresh fruits and vegetables. And if you eat meat, you know, good meat, lean meats without a lot of fat, chicken and things that, uh, and if you eat meat, you trim off the fat. So try to eliminate as much processed food and fat as you can in your diet. Number two, don't snack between meals if possible. And if you really want a snack and you're really hungry, which I do once in a while, I'll have uh, carrots with hummus, celery, uh, something that's fresh, something that is not going to put a lot of sodium into my body or a lot of weight. So three basic meals a day is really what I do. Um, I will cut up fruit uh, at the beginning of the week and have it in a container so that if I have oatmeal or Cheerios or some kind of fruit, uh, cereal in the morning, it's not such a big job because I just go get the container, I throw some good fruit on top of it, a little soy milk or almond milk, and I'm ready to go and have a nice, healthy breakfast. So try as many fresh things, no snacking, eliminate a lot of white stuff from your diet, sugar, bread, not too many starchy foods. All of those things are very simple things you can do, but really are important. But I think basically the best thing is 
not to snack between meals and don't eat late at night. Because when you eat late at night, of course, it's really tempting while you're watching television or looking at YouTube, whatever you're doing. So tempting to get up in the refrigerator and get some ice cream or pretzels or popcorn or something like that. But when you do that, of course, when you sleep, your body slows down, your metabolism slows down. And everything kind of stops except those calories that keep clogging into you and sticking onto your body. So that is really important. So it's basically three meals a day, try to eliminate as much starchy and sugar and white stuff in your diet and fresh foods. That's really simple, but that's what I do. And portion control. I have smaller plates, so I don't pile a bunch of stuff on a big plate. And when it's there, of course, you're going to eat it because it all looks so good. The second thing I do, of course, is exercise. Now, I'm not a gym person, so I don't go to the gym, but I do walk Sophie. I try to walk at least uh, two miles a day, three times a week. Now, when COVID happened, oh my gosh, I walked around the block. That was it. For over a year, that was it. And I was starting to feel really sluggish and, and, and um, not myself. Because exercise, especially as we get older, is so important. But if, if you are homebound and you can't get out, sit in a chair, do hand weights, even if it's like a can of soup in one hand and a can of soup in the other hand. Lift those up and try to do that. If you have uh, a bicycle at home, ride your bicycle. Uh, if you uh, can't get out, and I know that they have those I have one of them, the uh, bicycles, the little small units that you just pedal your feet and, and you work your feet. Whatever it is, just try to do exercise. If you have steps in your house, try to walk up and down the steps. But if you can't do that and you have to sit in the chair, just try to work those muscles the best you can because it builds up bone mass, as you know. And Actually, it, it because when you exercise, the endorphins get going in your body and you start feeling a lot better. So exercise is so important because I know now that I'm back to walking, I feel so much better. I feel healthier. I have a better, what? I have a better frame of mind. So the third thing is your frame of mind. Try to, in the morning when you wake up, as soon as the sun hits your eyes or you take off your eye mask or you say, wow, you know, hello, good morning. The first thing you do is try to put some kind of positive thought into your head. No matter how lousy yesterday was, and trust me, I've had lousy yesterdays, lots of them. But I really try not to carry that on to now, till today. So every single morning when I wake up, I try to be thankful and gratitude for one small thing in my life. And it's amazing how that really, it's like a snowball. It starts your day rolling. And if you start out with a positive thought, no matter how crappy your day was yesterday, it does help. It really does help by starting your day with a positive attitude because it builds a foundation for that whole day. And even if things happen during that day, it won't seem as bad because you've started out with a positive attitude. And that's the truth. That mindset has a lot to do with our bodies and our health and how we feel all the way around. If you are negative and you're in a negative new mood, you're more likely to run to that refrigerator and get solace and pacify yourself with food you're really not hungry for and you really don't need. So all of these things are tied together. Your diet, what you put in your body, how you exercise and keep your body moving, and also how you start your day and the attitude that you have. Three simple things that are so positive, but believe me, it'll make a difference on whether or not you feel good about yourself, whether or not you're trying to lose weight, or whether or not you're just trying to have a positive life. And losing weight, I mean, it doesn't mean that you have to be skinny. 
because I have friends that have beautiful round curves, but because they eat right, they have a positive attitude and they exercise, they are very happy at their weight, but most of all, they are healthy. So it's not exactly um, the pounds that count, it's how healthy you are and what you put into your body, how much you exercise, and how you feel about your life. Are you positive or are you negative? Those are simple things that I do. I hope that maybe you have been able to take something away from this video today, but I'm hoping all of us can have a super wonderful 2022. Thank you so much for being here. And as I always say, do something fabulous for yourself today, no matter what it is. And be kind to whomever crosses your path. And of course, in this broken world that we are living in, we have to share the love because it starts at home and reaches out to others. Take care and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Thank you.